Hello, 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 and welcome. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here, isn't it? Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. If this is your first time being with me, then I welcome you to join me every Tuesday at noon, where I talk about different sessions, different topics on healing, on mind, body, and uh, the connection of our mind-body, and how we can tap within our subconscious mind and make changes. So, welcome to this episode. Oh, we're already in May, and it's May 2nd. Oh, so, May Day is over. Soon, we're going to have Cinco de Mayo. And what is May? May I, so many of us, give permission or ask permission to do something, right? So today I'm asking permission to talk about something that is going to be a little bit uncomfortable, yet, just like anything else in life, once we penetrate through the discomfort and tap, into it, open it up, then we get into that flow time, right? Someone was asking me what my episodes are about. Well, each week it has been something different. Today I'm going to be talking about something that just occurred with one of my clients and I got an email about three days ago from a past client of mine who was talking about pain that she has been feeling. And it is a pain that cannot be detected and, and yet she's feeling it and someone told her it's probably psychological and yet she's feeling it in her body. Now fast forward Today, I had an incredible client of mine who came in, who's been coming for a few sessions, dealing with depression, dealing with low times, and having so many complications in her body. During our session, when she talked about uh, a pain here and a pain in her body and that she has a she's young and she's had a, a bit of a piercing here we did something that I normally do not do which is a hypno massage so being that I used to be a massage therapist and a hip clinical hypnotherapist I did a little bit of a modality of hypno massage combining the two together by releasing the pressure and working on her TMJ. So, what came out of that is that through our sessions, for her to delve into her subconscious mind and by breath work, a bit of a pressure point, questions that we had to recognize and her body connecting with her body, having a dialogue with her body, dialogue with her TMJ and all the muscles around her neck. It's what is holding on? What is it that you are holding on? I usually call it if there is a pain in the neck, literally, is there someone who's a pain in the neck or you know, it's sometimes it's not always about being so rigid and talking about things that are serious. Everything in life, we have to have a balance. So with that balance, it also comes making it light, having fun, laughing with the body, connecting with the body and asking the body to respond. So it was during this time that I asked if your TMJ, if your jaw were to open and speak, 
what would your body say? What would the jaw say? And you don't necessarily have to express it out loud, but what is it that you have suppressed that has been locked up? Locked up not only in the neck area, in the TMJ, the jaw area, which by massaging it and probing with the right questions, her jaw popped. And this part, by popping it and expressing and giggling, she allowed her body to have fun, to relax, to let go. It was at that time that she started expressing. Now, it's an expression that it can be internal or vocal. You see, anything that happens through the mouth, the jaw, the neck area, and the throat area, I believe it has something to do with our expression. Have you had a block in your body? You can even say hello, you can say yes, you can share information. Have you had a block in your body that you could not figure out what it was and that by tapping into or relaxing or you know what, sometimes just by removing yourself away and having a massage, going for a walk, going to the ocean, you realize that once you are away from that stressor, the trigger that has been pushing, you can literally allow yourself to relax and give yourself permission to let go of all the trigger and then all the answers come. That's what hers was. She expressed, she released, she giggled, and the things that were held tight, which was not assist, it was just muscle tension and blocked. Not only this opened up, but the voice and everything that was stored and locked up in the body, this area loosened, giggled, and released. So, hello Vahe, hi Anat, hi Harut, hello Michael. You see, our body is the most intricate and yet simple machinery. I call it a machine because our body does everything we ask it to. Believe it or not, it's there to protect us, it's there to shield us, it's there to house who we are inside our body. So when we have something that we have not been able to express and we shut it down, it's going to get locked up. What I usually call is express it instead of suppressing it. Another part of suppression is what we constantly suppress and put a lid on it and it has to be stored somewhere. So it gets stored in the body until it's time to percolate or, believe it or not, blow up. So what is the blow up? Some of us blow up by anger, resentment, and every pain and hurt that is stored in there for so long. And then one day, one word, one person may say something that it's off the wall, and that can be the trigger that pushes that button and that person goes flying off the wall. Are they angry at all times? No. So, we don't walk around revealing all our feelings. And she said, are you always happy because all your pictures are happy? No, dear. But when I go into a funk, when I have a pain in my knee, I think to myself, what is lock locking or what has locked my knee? The knee in itself. I'm a true believer that every aspect of our body talks to us. So if it is my fingers, what is it that I cannot have a grip on? 
think about your body. If you have a pain in your body, if it is the knees, it is the joint for bending the things that you want to take steps forward for, that you want to move forward in life. And what is it that you are not bending to? Or perhaps you need to. If it is the hands, it's about control. It's about handling things, especially if it is from our wrist to our fingers. It's about holding space. Or what is it that we have lacking or need to get a grip on? But more than that, everything that I do is help you, my clients, first and foremost, connect with the body, tap within the emotions and into the subconscious, and then bring forth everything to surface. Then we can make the changes. If we are not in tune or in balance or in harmony, not much can be healed. Yes, let's think about our weight. I've talked about this so many times of how we hold on to a lot of, I call it dead weight um, or weight that has been suppressed or the weight that we are carrying either from our ancestry or the weight that we are carrying because of our expectations or other people's expectations that we have to meet or as a protection. Here, in my one of my workbooks that I have for my weight loss, uh, one of the things that I ask is mind matters. But in week three, here's one of the questions that I have. Why do I want to lose this weight? See, clients who come to me and want to lose weight or manage their weight to go and become thinner or the ones who want to gain the weight. Why? Why do you want to do so? Is it because of someone else's expectations? Is it because the media and you think it, your body is not good enough? Is it because you have gained so much weight that that weight is holding you back from what you want to achieve or look like or fit in? One of my questions the other day was, in life, do you do things to fit in? Or grow out of. So if our why is not clear, if I'm not clear why I want to lose the weight, which losing is one of the negative things that I also teach my clients and everyone, is we hate to lose. Losing is such a negative thing. I want you to manage your weight, to drop your weight, to let go of the excess weight, or to be in harmony to the weight that you want. So the why is very important because if someone else has told you you are overweight, you are obese, you are this, then there is a little bit of a resentment, isn't there? Resentment not only towards them, but a resentment towards your body. And as long as we are resenting a part of who we are, which is our body, then there is no harmony. There is no love. There is no joy. We move towards our most dominant thought pattern. And change happens when two things are in place. Either the pain of being in that weight is so great and so hurtful 
that you want to change it and modify it and make it lighter and be the image that you want to be, the size that you want to be, or the reward is so great because when you become the weight or the body image that you want, oh, you're going to look good, you're going to feel good, you're going to feel healthier, stronger, beautiful, and inside out, joyful. So the why is so important in every aspect of our life. Let it be in body, in mind. I want to go and learn this because I want to achieve being the success that I want. Or I want uh, to fit in that dress so I can be ready for my wedding or my prom dress. And it's this size. Affirmations can only help you for so long. And the rest is the body and the mind. And yes, the heart being in harmony. So everything is working in congruent. Today, this very day, everything that you do, if you know the why, and sometimes the why does not matter, but what matters is why is it that you are feeling this way and why is it that you want to do this? When someone comes in here saying, I have a pain and I no longer want to feel that way, my question is, then how do you want to feel? Well, I want to feel better. Perfect. What does better look like? What does better feel like? What does better? What is better? Have you ever had the better so you know what that is? Yes, and I want to feel exactly like back then. Every single one of you. There is no more back then. Whatever it was, wherever you are today, is because of everything else and all your experiences that has brought you to this very moment. The changes that you feel at this very moment, doesn't matter if it's good, bad, right, wrong, successful, not successful, guess what? You are exactly where you need to be and there is no more back then. I'm not going to help you to get back to where you are, but what you want into the future, into the present, from here to the next level. If I want to be successful in my job, I can't go back to what I was because whatever it was back then, it's not going to help me now, but it is an information that I can tap into that has brought me to this very moment. And if it was good, I'll take note of all the good. And if it's not, then here is the pain. Time to change. But what is it that I want? The next level, the higher level, the better level. And I go and find my own coach, which I have. Actually, I signed up with a coach. Hello, Jason. And I want you to know that even I have a coach, even I find a mentor, even I partner and collaborate with another friend to be of help to my clients, his clients. And as a matter of fact, hi, Robert, I know you're online right now, so do a thumbs up. So if anyone who's watching at this very moment, who is sharing this information, you get to see Robert and at this very moment in mind and in body, I work with the emotional part, the mind part. Robert is with the nutrition, the neuroscience of our mind and of our body. You see everything that we do in life. We need someone to help us to cross the bridge. 
if we have step over step and every time we take a step and then we stop either in emotionally physically or mentally then we have taken so many steps and that's what we do but when we get a coach or a mentor to help us bridge from one side to the next that's when we come to achieve and then we go to the higher bridge it's like climbing the rocks mountain climbing rock climbing it's one level at a time we go up we step we move forward we go in we climb and we go forward it's the same thing that I do with my clients is to tap within and peel away the layers so we either hatch and chisel from the rocks to find the pebbles within or we go from here and we tap within our core to allow us to peel away the layers so we can get to the core of the best part of who we are and move forward that is how my entire sessions start it's first and more first and foremost it's evoking what was bring it forward embrace what is the reality the present right here right now because if you do not accept this body of yours this work of yours the success of where you are right now and sometimes yes you may be overweight you may be feeling depressed your jaw may be locked you may not have a grip over something or you're not the success you wish to be that's the reality it's being one with the reality and saying okay now what how do I change but why do I want to change because I want to be the success that I am meant to be healing within is truly tapping within to heal thank you Robert building bridges and crossing over the bridges allow the person that is next to you allow the experts that are an expert in their field to hold space for you to help you bridge to evolve that's the third E to evolve to what you desire what you want and what you want to achieve if it is losing the weight which I call it drop the weight that means you drop it you're in total control of what you put in no one forced you to eat the thing that is not good for you no one forced you to do the things that are not good for you you did it for a reason and those reasons have been good and were the right reasons at that time it helped you it assisted you and it worked until today and I'm not saying this because at this very moment you are going to make that change you may not be ready at this very moment and I may not be the right therapist the hypnotherapist or your stress management consultant or whatever or your action coach because when I work with my clients it's the action coaching that means ready let's take action now that we evoked it now that you embraced now it's time to evolve and take action actually not only I may not be the right 
therapist because you may not be able to take the steps today. You may not be ready to drop the weight today. That's why in my workbook with my clients, I say, go through the workbook. We go through each week into this because there are questions that we have to tap into our childhood. And to remember, what is food? If there is an emotional connection to food, what does that food satisfy? If there is an emotional connection to money that we cannot release or we have a block on, what is that aspect? If there is an emotional connection to this tension, that you need to express it, to free it? What is it that you need to talk? What is it that needs to come out? What is it that you're holding on to? Who's the pain in the neck? What is your jaw locking up for? Everything we do either knowingly or unknowingly, intentionally or unintentionally. We are doing it because somewhere, somehow, we safeguard ourselves. We protect ourselves and our body protects us until we are ready to take the next level to take the next step, to hack and chisel and release and let go and say yes to the next level. Yes, I want to look good for me. I want to achieve the success for me, not for anyone else. Believe it or not, if you want to lose weight for anyone else, achieve the success so that you are better because you want to look better in the success level or the money so you can mm, someone else and not because you think you your gifts, your success, your gift of who you are is valued, that everything else is negative energy. Jealousy is negative energy. Resentment is negative energy. Tantrums are negative energy. And those are the negative energies that without realizing, we store it in and create this ease. To release, let go. One of the things I she did a testimonial, this exact client. Beautiful. And I love who she is. It's for her to understand even that belly button, that beautiful diamond that she has here that was not healing. Here's the magic. As she has brought more joy into her heart, Accepting, valuing herself, and knowing she's good enough. Even the core, the piercing that she had, has healed. After a year of constantly needing to work on it, even her core, the piercing, has healed. That's who we are. Evoke it, embrace yourself, and be ready to evolve. Why? Because you do matter. You matter first and foremost to the little boy and little girl inside. Yourself. And then you matter to the ones that you think they don't see you or appreciate you, but they do. So at this very moment, hi, Tracy. 
at this very moment that you are here if I have shed a light or said something that you appreciate that you just recognized about yourself do a thumbs up do a heart show me that you are here share it wow very well said hello sanaz oh my god sanaz is with us and sanaz i believe you are from the farthest and i am so glad you are here with us from malta all the way in the islands of the islands you see even at this very moment being here with you and it doesn't matter that if you are across the street sitting next to me or in malta who we are this beautiful energy that we are is a part of god light an expression of who we are we're all energy so when we feel something we feel it tingling in our hands tingling in our body and when something resonates with you do you know what happens your tummy growls and you get goosebumps there is no magic we're all one your body talks to you and believe it or not in a few weeks I'm gonna be doing a seminar it's called mind body connection of listen to your body talk and if you want to be a part of that please PM me message me let me know and soon you're going to see uh, the <laughs> even I get lost with the word for that um, the flyer the information on that and the events page for that we're starting a mind body connection listen to your body talk and I'm doing it in a collaboration with a friend so PM me message me if you are interested and it's not only for women it can be all of us men women it doesn't matter because even men have emotions and so many people think that I don't work with men but I do men have emotions they store they block and as a matter of fact I truly think that you gentlemen have a harder time in expressing your emotions your needs your wants because you have been told not to express this he'll talk listen to your body talk this mind body connection a segment of it is also dedicated only for you gentlemen and it's not only for men this is open men women and come and learn network get to know one another and get to know how to evoke embrace and evolve to the best of you so at the end in closing I want to say thank you for every single one and that you are here and you are ready to make the change and if I am honored and privileged to be a part of holding space for you then by all means let me know if not I can direct you show you and hold space that you heal on your own because even without knowing you're good enough and you have the answers within yourself so tap within and know that every day in every way you get better and better but not as good as tomorrow okay and tomorrow is another day so until our next session of heal talk Tuesdays tap into your core and 
Let's do a little bit of a healing. I'm going to do a few moments of relaxation. And if you are sitting somewhere that you are safe and protected, sit back, relax, close your eyes for just a moment, and listen only to the sound of my voice. And as you breathe in and out, easily and gently, Become one with each and every breath that you breathe in. And as you exhale, release and let go. Take another nice deep breath. And as you hold it in, Gently and easily, thank your body and relax. And as you release, release all tension, release all worries, release all hurt and pain, doubt, expectations, and let them go. And with your eyes either open or closed, it doesn't matter. Give your body permission to begin the healing internally. Give your eyes permission to see the brightness and to witness the good within you and in others. Realizing that no matter what you have seen and what you have witnessed in your life, there's more good in our life than negativity. There's more love. There's more joy. Hold that in space within you. And as you are listening to the sound of my voice, and every other sound that surrounds you at this very moment, even the sound of your own breath. Be grateful that you can hear. And at times, you can even shut it out and not listen to what others say. Not even gossip. Because if someone is gossiping about you or you do that, realize that they will be gossiping about others. And if they're gossiping about others, they're gossiping about you. So allow that entire negativity to go. And only listen to the best part of who you are. And if there is other parts of you that nag at you, ask it to be with light that you hear yourself. Validate that part and send love. If you have been touched that was not loving and your body has stored that part of it, send love. You can even hug yourself at this very moment and be the loving part of who you are and hug yourself. Hug that part of you that needs that loving hug. Because if you validate yourself and appreciate your body, then everybody else is secondary. 
And as you speak, speak goodness and love to the little girl and the little boy within you and this incredible body of yours that is ready to heal, giggle, and bring more joy and health and vitality for you. Realize that you have the keys to open and unlock so that you can tap within your internal door, your internal walls, your internal prison, and be free. Unlock all the doors to your heart. And allow the healing begin to this very day. And with your eyes, with your ears, even the smell and everything that you smell from the trees, the flowers, the scent of your skin, the scent of the most wonderful scent of something that you love to eat, the food, the aroma. Let it be stored in here and realize that from this day forward, all your senses are heightened and working to heal, benefit, and help you be healthier in mind, in body and of your emotions. Not only thank all the gifts that you have within yourself, thank all your experiences and every single person and send a prayer for all who have been a part of your life. and the ones who are going to be a part of your life for the next phase of your journey. Be with light, be with love, be who you are. You matter. I'm going to finish this segment now.